Hip hop on the grind with Override. The man who controls the hype. Right, the man who definitely does control the hype, and um, yeah, it is the second hour. Um, welcome to um, the second hour of the show, and um, as promised, now um, we have um, Hash One in studio, and uh, before we actually like you know talk to them and, and etc etc, we just need to like you know unpack the bio and all that stuff. Now, so now Hash One is a yeah, is a rap trio consisting of um, Mix Wali, Wali Ninja, Nasi <laughs> Tau. Yo, man, just break down your names, man. Mix so, Wali Ninja. Sure. That's Nasi Tau Tuna. Sure, sure. Sanji Walifik. Word is born, man. And over the years, man, um, they have garnered a reputation of delivering a well received song re- well received songs and landing features as members of a sound design company titled Soto Mafia Entertainment. Between them, they have worked with Asama Award winners Duke Singanga, um, aka and Kuli Chana, as well as the likes of uh, Cageism, Toddy Mac, and Momulimi, uh, Momulimi. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's an old school name. Uh, Double HP, <laughs> MXO, and Lungelo. So in the year 2012, they released a uh, Muff Town State of the Mind, an ode to their um, hometown ma- ma- Mahikeng, which is included uh, on DJ Limonka's sophomore mixtape, which is Mutswako Tape 2. And um, yeah, like, like you know, that's just the the basic of like the bio man um can everybody in studio make some noise for hash one man yo 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 word is born word is born <laughs> yo man shop was the gents le grand ah is it just making no nah, man um and also man um big shout out to y'all for coming through man um y'all like thanks well, for having us though and like um my um homework of you guys man um just tells me that you guys have done a lot yeah. um within the space yeah because i know you sent you a lot of stuff you know what i'm saying man <laughs> and, and, and 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 the music is crazy you know you, you know what i mean and then like when i was talking to you on the phone i was like yo man um Okay, yeah, we're gonna play the song. Shall we play someone one song, two song, nyan and then? But then I want to sure. know the story uh, mainly, man. Um, let's get to let me let me get to know you guys first. Now, um, tell us who um hash one uh, is and um how did it all start? Where did you guys meet up and like how did it all start for you guys? What's up? <laughs> Gee. Okay, yeah. Uh, look, we can we can all answer all yeah. the questions. So yeah. uh, look, uh, long. It's a very long story. But uh, we all know each other from Muff Town. Sure. Um, Nasi's older brother was uh, my closest friend in primary school. Yeah. We've known each other since primary school. And he had a dream of starting a record label. Yeah. And yeah, he ended up doing it. And then Mix and I, and um, hmm. during those days, we were like those guys that whenever we chilled and we, hmm. and we would drop bars. Yeah. There, it was always me and him who had the hardest bars. Oh, right? word, yeah. Yeah, but I pushed the Vasti thing. Mix actually went through with the dream yeah. uh, and eventually flew down to Cape Town where Glenn was based, his older brother, yeah. to record his first project. And uh, Mix had like writing blog, nya, nah, nah. Yeah. and I was studying that side. So the solution was like, come chill with me. Uh, let's vibe and then we would just drop bars yeah. <laughs> we'd chill with yeah. me and we would just drop bars and his writer's block was unlocked to the point where Glenn the guy who was part of Switch Mafia was like okay you know Chiki you gotta be a part of this now Yeah, you know that's how I got a part of the movement and then fast forward a couple of years Switch Mafia was becoming this you know big um, conglomerate of Great artist, bro. This yeah. guy's like Teho was, you know Teho? Yeah. Teho was part of Soto Mafia. There's a guy called KT. If you know your Motoko history, you know KT was a big deal. Um, mm. There was Astri. There was a guy called Caddy. Who else? Gordo on production. There was Gordo on production. Anyway, just a lot of really talented dudes uh, yeah. together under this emblem called Soto Mafia. And there was a lot of solo artists pushing their own thing. Teho was one of them. Mm. Uh, KT was one of them. We didn't really have... Uh, solo project we were working mm. on individually as artists and we ended up coming together to say look look we're not really on the same vibe as all these other artists because they were pushing very mainstream music yeah and we were, we were really about the boom bap and the bars you know Ish. okay so to, talk to us talk to us about like you know that you know the boom bap and the bars and you know hip-hop's evolution and like where that leaves us you know within the space <laughs> <laughs> Check out the mic just swaying my way. Um, hey man, look, the the thing about it is, um, when it comes to 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 boom bap, um, I don't think it ever died. 
anyway. yeah yeah um there's just a selected few that are still doing it um you know we on our side we 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 chose to stick to our guns mm. you know the the music now is a little bit more commercial but you know but it's still that hard hitting that mm. um th- that it is uh so in terms of his place in the game i don't think it's ever lost its its place Perks. in the game yeah. um there'll always be those um super super commercial those pop yeah. artists uh, they'll they'll be us they'll be b- uh, different genres and you know different feels and this is something that we we need to appreciate mm. you know um and not even shun uh, hurry, hurry, ah, no, eh, 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 iso or whatever mm. but this is rap though <laughs> yeah. no, at the same yeah. time it's rap so um we are going to talk about how dope we are we are going mm. to 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 challenge some 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 people you know yeah. um so that's just the name of the game if if you're about rap you know it's really about having to show who the hell you are Facts, you know what facts. i mean so okay so can you talk about like um when you guys started now um like how was um the climate of um hip hop um then because now like the way you guys are talking you know 2005 hip hop and all that <laughs> mm. and um yo man i was in Benoni um watching dragon ball z and wwe <laughs> you, you know you know what i mean so like how was hip hop like then and um yeah like um how is it now and how how do you compare the two that's a good question look back then um you know i i got into hip hop like these fellas have been listening to hip hop for a long time yeah i nigile my jaiwan you know yeah. uh, high school primary school and around Still 2000 not even more nigile my jaiwan you know the knees are weak yeah you know the knees are weak but yeah you know but but then you know i <laughs> no lie when i really thought about hip hop differently was when i heard mix for the first time yeah you know homie from my hood can do this you know forget about Kanye West yes we yeah. hear, but when you realize that someone next door is doing this and is this dope that opens you know another realm for you yeah. you know and yeah. that that was cool for me but then guys used to care about rap you know like mm. your early 2000s mid 2000s guys really cared about rap it didn't matter what kind of beat you were jumping on mm. guys still rapped you know it was it, it, it was always about the bars for us you know mm. what i mean um and y- you're asking uh, uh, what it was to us then uh if you know most deaf uh, black on both sides <laughs> We we that the, I remember Glenn That's ordered my Bible, man. Uh, Glenn ordered that CD. We he had to wait a whole month to get it. Those were those times, Damn, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Uh, before streaming and yeah. all of that. Um, b- b- when it came to to uh, we were listening to a squatter camp, you know. Mm um but re ka kabo jab and all of them but obviously yeah. now coming to joburg you're listening to what squatter camp or yeah. uh, we we understand okay this is what's happening uh, coming out of mafi game also it became a bigger thing for us mm. you know so so mm. I think it was always there. I started listening to 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 music from a very young age. Um I wrote my first bars ka 1999 for the V show Yako Isa. Yeah, so Khalinza really busy man and wabona it's it's something that we do. It's not hore hore batlashine. Eh batlashine we just know okay this is mm. basically what we're about, you know. Okay, cool. So, so yeah. can we talk about like um before we uh, play the first song, now? Yeah. Can we talk about like culture versus industry, now? How does one navigate the industry while still being like a cultured hip hopper? Is there is there a way to do so? That's such a tough question. It's a good question, but it's a tough one because you know, you always hear the debate of what's the difference between rap and hip hop. And you know, well, well, I can break it down quick fast. Do well, it. Okay, well, first of all, um hip hop is the name of our culture, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then rap is an element of our culture. So you can't okay. um rap and hip hop is two different things, yeah. but then without hip hop you can't, can't rap. Have rap. Yes, all sir. right. So that answers your question, right? That there's there's a culture element and there's the actually the craft element, mm. which is the rap, right? And for us, that we've there's a subculture within the rap mm. which is based on like you have to be uh, impressive mm. you have to impress mm. when you're doing your rapping and mm. that's kind of how we got into it is that like you have to kind of 
be like, you know, be different number one be unique and show that you are worthy mm. of being uh An called MC. being within, that being within circle. the circle bruv you know i mean you've you've you know yeah. who's come from mafi game dog yeah. you've had kuli chana you've yeah. had momulimi you've had tuxin yeah. yeah. you know that's yeah. the bar bruv yeah. you know yeah. so that's how we thought like okay yeah so that's the level bruv you know okay. Future man, yo, what's the name of that single, yo? Boom. That's Boom Baptism featuring Duke Singang. Uh, yo, Boom Baptism. Otherwise known as Mutako Culture. Man, man, yeah. I just got Boom Baptized. You know what I'm saying, yo? <laughs> That's like, what's up. Like, um, it's crazy, man. Like, listening to this is so refreshing, man. Um, it's also like good for the soul. You know what I'm saying, man? Like, right, like right. the moment I heard it. I don't know, man. Something yeah. happened to me inside. You know what I mean, yeah, man? Yeah, That's really yeah. dope. It reminds me of um, uh, it's almost like there's a new wave actually coming through with the, like that boom bap sound is slowly coming back. Um, and I saw this guy that single yeah Obi Guala featuring um Landmark as well as um Golden Shovel, mm. and it did really really well um within the charts. And um based on that song, I was like, damn, bro. Like so, homies actually bring it back like that. Word. And at the same time, it does really well. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um. So, okay, so based on everything now today, now I've been saying like, what does it mean to be cultured as a hip hopper today? Because we've seen the evolution of rap, we've seen, um, we've seen like we you know where it started, how it developed, and how let's say we've been in the new school for since two thousand and nine, right? So like, how do we define ourselves as hip hoppers today? Um, look, I, c- I can speak for myself, right? I yeah. think we've each got a different kind of taste and approach you know in terms of hip-hop yeah um we like similar things but at the same time we like different things you nice, know yeah. like I, I, I vibe to trap you know yeah i can vibe to trap or you know but the core thing is like the, the lyricism man like guys that rapped and said something I and mean, yeah. you feel something yeah like that relatability on on a real level like sitting at home thinking about your problems and somebody says something that snaps you out of it like mm. oh snap okay you know that's like the important part of the music element of hip-hop for me yeah um and that's why i, I fell in love with it and wanted to rap you know what yeah I mean? makes i don't know um, man that's your power le, le, let me put it this way um i can think for for every situation that i've been in in my life i can think of a hip-hop song Facts. that i can play now and be like okay this is where i'm at you know yeah uh so for me it's like yeah. uh, through hip-hop uh let me sure. put it that way you know it's 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 who you are 
um mm. so so this is where my position in the culture is you know um mm. there's there's things you can't leave behind you know it's it's just the same as um culture african culture yeah. you know what i mean uh, but for for me that's how i feel about about music in general you know um i hardly listen to hip hop by the way yeah. um these days i would listen to to more soulful stuff yeah. more more um lo-fi type of vibes yeah. and things like that you know but the the core is still there i listen to those beats and still bust bars too yeah. you know so uh for me that's what i'm saying but if it's within you it's something that you can't leave behind yeah you know, so yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah look i think it's important to realize that like nasi said it's different for everybody mm. and the problem comes when people start trying to prescribe what hip hop should mean to yeah, other people yeah 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 and i think we used to fall into this trap even ourselves where we thought okay this is not what we were raised on and what we're yeah. hearing on the radio is not hip hop you know yeah. but all the young kids growing up they have a different um interpretation of hip hop and and everything evolves and i think it's important to just um be aware of mm. what hip hop means to you as mm. an individual as a listener and stay true to that because mm. that's how you keep it alive okay and in terms of like um do you guys believe that you know the kids need to come back go back and study um as to like you know like the history where we come from as a people and all that because now um like you're saying hip hop means um something different to everybody else right but then if you don't got your foundation um what are you standing what principles are we standing on yeah and that's something that i think about a lot and we think about a lot but like i said you know yeah, you don't want to be know. a dinosaur yeah, bro yeah, you know yeah, everybody yeah. Is, everything evolves Thanks, i remember yeah. when we were recording this album we had stone in the studio mm. and you know we uh, there were people hating on casper yeah right at the time and then stone came to us and be like guys you know that when we were coming up people were hating on us calling what we're doing quieto and without a message and what 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 but for us who were young at the time mm. we were like these guys are doing what they're supposed to be doing you know what i mean but for them there were all the cats hating on them mm. at the time so it's all relative bro and i think yeah. that this thing of you know if people don't understand their history then cool then they'll create another like lane within mm. hip hop there's many lanes in hip hop wait to me and yeah. Yeah. what yeah. we doing is that we are making sure that we keep this lane alive mm. of staying true to lyricism of staying true to having a message of staying true to the roots that uh the people that came before us kind mm. of um planted word and, and um and still making yeah. it authentic to us you yeah know i mean not yeah. not adopting too much from the exterior you know mm. yeah i think that's still a very important part of our music word and let's talk about like you know mutswako you know rap and all that now um like it's been a while since we heard this bro like it's really really been a while <laughs> it's been like years like literally years right and um the last time we heard of we had an idea of mutswako was when um fifi cooper was dropping so to speak right so right. now um yeah man like can you talk to us about the state of mutswako rap I mean cuz yo man you guys left a huge mark man we we've had like you said we've had double hp we've had like yeah. your stones we've had utuk singanga and then all of a sudden um after Ka- after kas like it just it after casper it it kind of died well mm. before casper kind of died and then we never heard of it again so like what is the state of mutwako right now look i think the best way to answer that is like to to speak about the project we just put out right Facts. and within that we're like yo mutsoko's not dead mm. that was the ultimate statement of that mutsoko multiply mutsoko's not dead everybody is up in there you mm. know what i mean um mm. and it was just to show that for ourselves we can come together gents and yeah. this thing can continue like it never stopped you know Thanks, what i mean yeah um i feel like also there's been a lot of pressure put on casper hori a or this and that and i'm like yo Cass is doing his thing yeah. you know what i mean yeah. um he he got the pattern from jabba shop but it didn't mean that he was supposed to do mutwako you know he Fix. was doing his own thing um i think maybe the youngins are having a difficult time defining their own sound mm. you know uh, mutwako is not a particular sound 
it's just you know a style I mean? of rap yeah. yeah i mean there was a there was a debate on facebook going on a couple of weeks ago where yeah you know i got to read and see people's different perspectives of what motswak is people think it's, it's certain tempos you know certain types of beats and we're like nah really it's it's the language mm. you know and motswak means mixture so taking different elements from different uh, genres different yeah. this and that and bringing it together and making your own sound even even this know? thing of like mixing uh Setswana, Le, like like I, th- I think that's one um i could say uh, characteristic of Motswako rap is like mm. mixing Stwana little li, 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 mm. into and then bringing it into like, and then making it like one word right. and then when homie says a bar it like it it, it slaps different <laughs> because, because because he says it ka, ka yeah. twako, you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I can understand the you know like <laughs> oh, I understand <laughs> oh, I understand you, you know what I mean so okay cool so like um let's see like so what what needs to happen for Motswako you know rap and and all that to get to where it needs to be because we're trying here man we you know <laughs> <laughs> to get to where it needs to be yeah um yo um all i know is just to be true to myself man facts yeah um i mean the 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 idea also like we we i feel that we move different as hash one you know what yeah. i mean uh, in terms of the approach to the market, the approach to the music, I'm sure the people that have worked with us can attest to that too. Correct, you yeah. know, um, we know it's not gonna happen overnight. Um, how we're going to keep it alive is to maintain what we're doing. We mm. uh, pull initiatives also where, but even in the album, we've got young cats that we're working with. Yeah. You know that are still coming to us and asking us for advice and things like that. And for the little that we know, yeah. we 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 share that knowledge mm. you know um that's for me that's the best way to keep it alive you know to yeah. to to keep that energy yourself and then it will resonate to other people you know so yeah yeah Thanks. Huh. and lastly i think as long as the music is good yeah. it's eventually gonna get played you yeah. know what i mean because we dropped this project in um october you know last year we only had metro uh, we only had massive metro today you know what yes, I mean? Sir. So over time, uh, if the music is good enough, it's gonna get heard and you're gonna get the platform. So just make sure we drop dope music. Yeah. And it'll it'll fight it'll get back to its rightful place, man. We still have a lot of um torch bearers who are doing doing it, like Kuli yeah. Chatter's there, yeah. Jasper's there, yeah. Dukes needs to drop. Yeah. I told him when I, him I told him, I We're told waiting. him when yeah. I saw him on Sunday, yeah. like bro. Stop! Um, stop it! But, but did, did, you not, did you not drop something last year though? He dropped a single, bro. He oh, dropped a single, oh, and oh. I was like, and then you know, but Ish, like, yeah. but but that's the role we feel like we can play. I mean, if you listen to an album, there's a skit where you know we talk about how we're kind of the middle ground between the OGs and the young Gs. Yeah, and that's yeah. what this album really represents, man. Because we've got all the OGs apart from Jabba. Yeah, we've got so all the OGs peace, on the yeah. album rest in peace like you said and then we've got a couple of young g's as well so yeah we feel like we're taking we're taking on the responsibility to fly the motorco flag where does born man yeah. and then can you guys fly the motorco flag in raps yo like actually want to hear your rap yo Ooh, like, right now, like right now like right now like right now right now i'm gonna find the beat oh. and then and then, Ooh, and then, and then oh we're boy. going in man we're hey, going man, in i'm like, gonna show you ready okay okay Check. Bon. Nkatsuwa rapo kama nakateng kika kapa kantu nwa kanteng Kevali mataka kama kwa tsepa di kwa nkwetla tsaka dara kaba tama leita ka ofe Bon. Hase snai dai deng Hare spai stale se sa hoko pisana ke metlai dai deng That lifestyle ke bokai dai deng Skawara we coming up maro oskara ka le chai la ke I never hold back coming for your whole bag this year This whole gang gas and nobody know we can't risk it Look, F a wave this is boom baptism I snatched that idea like my name was Grand Wizard Oh you half ass rap cats another target to blast that Bars going over the heads they can't catch that Whack niggas hawking the mic I gotta snatch that It's facts that hashtag we bringing real rap back. That's a high bar. Okay. Ooh. Check me out. Get it. Uh-huh. 
Let me take you back to 98 Dog, I got smacked by Harak, I'm on Menon Ish, no, give a talk or so You in the mic, rocking session Knocking kids head back like Mike You in the bout, don't attack a little mess of your heart Now that I got your attention, got a few things to mention Bon, you about to witness Mudimu's greatest invention Don't let me let, let that say Spilling a mess on wax, let me want to be na eh Hey, it's a I can say, Mwiti King If you brave, you can take your turn like Kona Mostra Teng Mara Hari, it's a horror, I can't Kona Mo, Mo, so so I No, no, Kopane, let's sing on a Sate Bahita ne bare hare murate beza ka punchline and get this car be mon ping tsene lo botlhale marotla tso le semahla san ke tla go thuba phatla san eh ska tla go khatla banyana kana san ngwana ai ai okay this is the pressure the pressure okay scared yeah yeah Zulu wa Mutswana sungula re bauna gabinde wa ko mahike mbare awa hini nwa kulumi kante ha muzulu kitso maf town nun tona ka itaula hasa tsale ka motswa ko kana ba ikhalwa otherwise turn me up louder put your ones up in the air if you all about the chair and the gouda <laughs> stack em up to bella let me la me le le thola le re le la i bile le tiki sa la la ke kwa molelo but otherwise i don't want to be one of these other guys but let a buy. Man, 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 but it's all good. It's all good, man. Yo, man. Yo, man. Yo, man. Um, as we wrap up, God damn. Um, you got the pheromones. Like it's a bit like I'm gonna put a pheromones. Ubong suit to you know. Ubong swan. Yo, like man, that's fire, man. That's fire. That's fire. Um, yeah, man. As we wrap up, now, yeah, we're actually running out of time. Um, what are your final words to your peoples? And um, where can we get y'all on social media before we play the second track? Um, yeah, Tenasu, the album, it's out everywhere, all digital stores. Um, follow us on social media, that's at hash1za on Instagram and Twitter. Um, hash1 on Facebook, you know, www.hash1.co.za. Um, yeah, just show love, you know. Where is born, where is born, yo. Um, what's your message of hope to the upcoming, yo? <laughs> Never give it up. Don't die. Push her until it's unpushable. You know, even us here, we are 10 years strong. Hash One was founded in 2010, and here yeah. we are with one of the most classic albums to be dropped in the Motswako fraternity. So, uh, never give up and believe in your dopeness. Word up. Work, 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 work. Tell us about this. Tell us about this. Oh snap! This is yeah, yeah, this is yeah, this, yeah, this, this is the wrong song. Yeah, this is definitely the wrong song. My bad, my bad. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, my bad. Oh, that's Piloyami. Oh, Piloyami. You know my surname is Piloyahi. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So, so this joint we did with DJ Limonka. Um, he was dropping a, a EP, a mixtape, yeah. you know, and literally took two days. We had what? Two, two days. days to submit. Two days to yeah, submit. and we were like, yo, let's find this beat. Yeah. Had a Zoom chat, had a concept. I did the hook, sent it out. Guys sent verses, mixed it, mastered. Two days, boom, out. Where two weeks this? later, we had the video out. Yeah, and it's just a song about love, man. You know, where does born, man? Yeah. 